James, it's a very different pre-season. Start of the year we were actually going well until what we must have checked in around the middle of March and we played a lot of matches in the league, training new faces and we played a couple of challenge matches and then all of a sudden last Saturday we played the Patek in a challenge match and was all that was the last of us till tonight as we as we speak. A lot of uncertainty even in the community. Football uh, aside as well, of uh, course. Definitely, definitely like then the day like the main thing was here is everybody was coming out of it well, nobody at home got ill or whatever this COVID nineteen was on. It was hard for the players because I thought the year was over and I assume the players thought themselves that really and truly they were hoping it was going to come back but really and truly I think the deep end they thought it wasn't and they were probably it's tough, it's tough in every club like so it's not just Bangal it's tough in every club and strange like this time of the year you should be hitting your peak and you should be flying but now you're getting into a second pre-season and we're hitting July. Ballandrae like a lot of places James football is very important. Oh and it, it definitely like I've been around the circle since I was 16 and and as I know it now we're probably we're having been success now in six years but we still always believe that we can compete and football is just Ballandrae and Ballandrae needs football and, and that's just bottom line and it's tough in families and stuff and everything that there's people around here who it's tough in children for example I have four children myself and they've got to the stage now they love coming in the football field and it's like any of your children now the gates were closed and it was weird that you were even passing the gyms and ways it closed, ways it closed and they didn't really understand. And James now that there is groups on the horizon there's a draw this week yeah. um, is there a concern that some of the lads wouldn't have played because of no, no. Their family members, was there that doubt in some of the lads? No, to be honest, there wasn't because, first of all, fair play to Mickey C, top man, kept in touch them every Monday, put them into a bit of a programme. They just, but everything, every every message was at the start was, hope everybody's well and everybody around your family's well. And that was the main thing to us boys. But as you said, in the group stages, when we decided that we would come back, and they, the, first of all, we said, you can't now in this situation, you can't sit a man, we need to get to the pitch. If a man's feeling uncomfortable, he's uncomfortable and you have to respect his decision. And that's the situation we're in at the minute. And lucky enough, we've come back with a full palm and they're eager to go. And it could be a championship that any team can win it um, because there's really only 10 weeks and I'd assume there's going to be a lot of injuries down the lane. And it's just going to be luck whoever goes over the lane, in my opinion. And finally, you have a new set of rules, James, that you haven't had a chance to probably look at very much? No, we, we, well, funnily enough, me and Nell went up at the start of the year to Umbeg and we we done the referee, we were doing the referees and the rules were really, really strange and we played most of the league, was, we got on to them, so that, but it's hard because the players were only getting used to it and all of a sudden now we have to go back to it now and play it, but I feel for the referees because from my opinion, I said it didn't want to be a good night. How can a referee respect it, do it all on his own? It's different for another county referee. He's got serious help on umpires, linesmen, and all that there. So it's going to be tough for referees more than anything. And the boys who are playing on county panels have had a chance to play the league. Whereas, yes, you, I, you know, the Ulster League has been so far away from you. I prefer I, the, the, the county players play the thing, but to prefer in Ulster League. The referees were very strict in it, and which was very good. And our players bought bought into it, so they very, very, very sharp. So they, but it's going to be strange. It's going to be some uproars. There's going to be a lot of mistakes, and it's going to be a lot of mistakes that players don't even know. And it's going to be tough for management. It's going to be tough for players. It's going to be tough for teams. The way I see it. And is there a sort of emotion in the in the club that? It's good to be back out from oh, from a mental side of things. Oh, oh man, man, unbelievable because as I said, 18, 18 years ago, you are playing football in here for 18 years, it was, football's my life and, and you see all these players and I think a lot of players are feeling the same just to get it in that pitch tonight and it wouldn't matter how tough for runs you do with them, they love it because they're, and it's just strange times, so it was and it's going to be strange times ahead.